new video i am sushi Mushi, and today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to add two or more rigs into your blender or cinema 4d workspace i did make a video on this a long time ago but i want to remake it and make it more nicer because before it was a pretty crappy tutorial by the way i made a brand new channel minecraft related and if you're interested in that stuff you should definitely go sub it's called sushi Mushi mc link will be in the description now without further ado let's get straight into the video for today's video i'm going to be using my avatar and also my friend's avatar piggy easy too so first up, what you want to do is go into create on the top of your screen and then you can either join a roblox studio thing that you already had or make a new one so i'm gonna use one i already have now that i'm on roblox studio i'm gonna go to the plugins tab and make sure i have the load character plugin if you guys don't go to toolbox and by the way if you don't have toolbox go up to the view tab then add toolbox then over to models you want to make it plugins instead then search up load character you should see a free one you don't need to pay for it then click install then when you go back to your plugins tab, you should see it right over here or somewhere else. Now click on load character and enter in the username you're going to use first. So for me, it is the Sushi Mushi. Make sure it's spawn at orange, origin, <laughs> and then spawn at six. Now go to your explorer tab and if you do not have it, go to view and then click explore right over here. Then right click on it, export selection, and I'm going to name it the Sushi Mushi. Ignore that one, I made a mistake earlier, and then click yes. Now what you want to do while selecting your character is click Control D and then you should have another duplicate of your character. Then click the arrow and delete the torso up to the head. You just want the accessories there, nothing else. Now right click on it, click export selection, then name it to the Sushi Mushi. I'm going to put it in my accessories folder because I have one specifically for that and I'm going to name it the Sushi Mushi. Then save. After you do that, just delete everything there. Go back to the load character plugin and add Piggy Izzy 2 or whoever the other person you're using is. Click spawn at origin and spawn at 6. Right click on it, export selection. Go back to your normal folder and name it Piggy Izzy 2 or whatever you're using. I did do it before because I messed up in the video earlier, so click yes. Make a duplicate of it. Click the arrow. Oops. Click the arrow. Torso to head. Delete. Right click, export selection. Accessories and piggy izzy 2 boom done i'm gonna start with blender and then later on i'll do cinema 4d so the first step is to go to file in the top left corner click open and open up the paint rig i'll link the rig in the description after that something like this should pop up after that something like this should pop up make sure you have another workspace with your shader editor just like so now make sure you're selecting a head or anything and then zoom in click open image on this right over here find your avatar and boom, there's a texture. I don't want mine to be so shiny. I'm gonna make the specular lower and roughness higher, just like so. I'm gonna move the shader editor up because I don't want it too much. And to move, you have to click Shift plus tilde key. And boom, W to go forward, S to go backward, A to go left, D to go right, Q to go down, and E to go up. To speed it up, use your scroll wheel. So I really don't want a bald avatar. To add your accessories, you have to go to File, Import, Wavefront OBJ, then go to the folder you saved your accessories in, and find it boom here's mine the sushi mushi obj and there it is now clicking your accessories you want to right click on it go to set origin and then origin to geometry now you need to connect your accessories to your rig to do so click on your hair and then click on that little box right there go into edit mode if you need to and then click Control plus p object and boom now if you go back into material mode look oops do this pose mode Go to the head rig, rotate. You can see the accessory is connected to the head rig. It'll also be connected to the whole entire rig now. At this point, you need to start posing. I'm not gonna do anything too complicated. I'm gonna do a simple pose. I do have a really in-depth tutorial on how to do this stuff, so go check that out because I won't be including it on this. All right, this is how it turned out. I really don't like posing on Blender, but it's whatever. I'm gonna move the rig in to do so. Click this little outline. Go to the move tool and just move it, just like so. All right, the thing you've all been waiting for, how to add another rig. Go to file, append, ignore this, oops. Go to your rig folder or wherever your rigs are. And if you're gonna use the same rig as the one you're using right now, for example, right now I'm using the paint rig and I wanna use it on Piggy Easy 2 as well, you gotta make another copy of it. You can easily do it on File Explorer, just copy and paste it. Now, I already made one, so I'm gonna use that. Double click it, go to objects, and then click A on your keyboard and append. And boom, there's the rig. Now, do you guys remember when I moved the shader editor up? I wanna move it down again, just like so. 
and then select on the rig head or anything else on the rig, just not the rig part. Then you should see all the textures show up right over here. Like we did earlier, open image, um, piggy easy two texture. I want to make it not shiny, roughness up, specular done. Whoops, just like so. I'm gonna move it back up now. And of course, she's bald again. We gotta add some accessories. So file, import, wave for OBJ, boom. And there it is. Now, right click on it, set origin to geometry. Did I do that? There. And then, click the hair, click that little box, control P, object. And you're done. I will not be rendering this because there's really no point, but let's go straight to Cinema 4D now. All right, so first up, you wanna open up your Lightroom, and yes, I will be rendering this time. So open and find where your Lightroom is. Mine is over here, rig, main LRs, Lightroom. Then go to file, and then open up your rig. Mine is right over here. Double click it. Now you wanna rotate it 180 degrees, just like so. Click on the hat and delete it. Double click the texture down here. Go to color, texture, dot, dot, dot. Then find where you left the texture, mine is over here, yes, and boom. Now you need to add your accessories, so go to file, merge, find where you saved your accessories, boom, there's mine. Then make these settings right over here, copy that if you need to, then click OK. You do need to fix the textures, so click on them, get rid of alpha, make sure the textures are correct. Uh, yes. Wait, no, I did the wrong texture. Uh, open, it's being annoying, okay, yes. Then over here, do the same thing. After that, select all of your accessory textures by holding shift and then go to editor, texture preview size, no scaling, and boom. Now go to the top right area, click this plus sign and these are all of your accessories. So if I selected it, you would see that's my glasses. You wanna select all of them by holding shift, right click on it and then connect objects plus delete. Click the plus on the Nero rig then plus on the attachments, and then drag it below head attachments. Now this would be the appropriate time to start posing, so do so right now. Now I'm gonna add the second rig, so I'm gonna move my current one just a bit, and then go to file, open, open up your rig, boom, double click on that army person, then rotate it 180 degrees, you know the drill, delete the hat, add its texture onto it, click yes, exit out, and then add its accessories, Boom, and those are the accessories, but we have to fix the texture on it because that doesn't look like normal hair. So we'll go to the accessories texture, click yes, unclick alpha, do the same here, fix the texture. Then make sure it is editor, um, texture preview style, no scaling. Now you wanna start posing it. Now before you start posing, you wanna connect these two accessories together and then find the other newer rig, the one that you're using right now. Go to the attachments and move it under head attachments. Now you can start posing. All right, after you're done posing, just like how I am, you're gonna go ahead and move the rig over a bit and then get your other rig as well and move it closer to that one. I'm gonna move it forward and just mess with the posing a bit more. I won't be teaching you guys how to render, but I did make a tutorial on it, so go check that one out. Now, after you're done posing, go ahead and render. All right, and that is the final product, so yeah that's how you do everything um i hope i helped you out today if i did remember to leave a like and subscribe comment down below more video ideas and subscribe to my second channel now peace out